Hello everyone, this will be my first narrated video. Um, apparently the sound quality is pretty crappy. Even with my background music set to literally 1%, it sounds like garbage, so... Hopefully this is a short video. I'm just going to be doing some double mileage, and if I don't get any legends or anything, probably going to end up great increasing my Corbin Burns and throwing some skill change tickets at him. Well, that's a good loop right card. Not good skills though, so not really useful at this point. I'll be doing a couple of one diamond, two golds, or two diamond, one gold prime combos to try to get something useful. Otherwise, pretty much uh, vintage combos trying to get a legend here. Hopefully I get a legend outfielder, that would be great. Okay, diamond. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good one. Diamond pool holes. Wow. That is amazing. That would be super nice if that was an outfielder. That's really my weakest position at this point, but I'll take it. Definitely not comboing that one away at this point. So I'll grab another uh, gold prime here. Nice, another diamond. Oh, I thought, okay, never mind. I thought that would be a diamond. Okay, let's do some vintage combos. Well, not too bad, I guess. I really can't complain about that pools at this point, so... Probably gonna do a few more of these, and that's it. Come on, let's get a legend. All right, one more here. Well, I really can't complain. All right, yeah, so... I am choosing to grade increase a normal player. I know that that's pretty, um, I don't want to say taboo, but it's really not the greatest choice when you're 
an early end game player like I am, you pretty much just want to use it on SIGs and Team Primes. But the way I see it, somebody in my club mentioned the other day that my Burns has, in addition to being a fantastic tra left side train, he also has the max Dom bonus if I were to roll the skill Dom. So, I mean, that, that kind of just like pushed, tipped me over the edge as far as finally deciding to go through with this. Which means I'm probably going to get a pretty good skill set without Dom. That's usually how this is ending up with me. But I'll cross my fingers that I get something good here. It wouldn't be the first time that I've blown this many skill change tickets without getting anything good, to be honest. But here we go. Well, that's good enough. I went through the calculator, and anything above a 72, he would only get one point to the left side, so that's definitely keeping worth keeping there. Not worth using a OVR amp or anything like that. Alright, let's see if we get some decent skills on him. And yeah, another reason why I wanted to go through with grade increasing him is because his left side stats this year are just absolutely insane. He's going to end up with 128-139 when he's finished with uh, special training, which is basically, I mean, that that's pretty much SIG, SIG level right there. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, it really doesn't get any better than that. I mean, Shane Bieber of this year is, was absolutely ridiculous too, so, and I know Denilson Lamet had ridiculous stats, but thankfully for a shortened season, it really worked out well for some players this year. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Bunch of uh, solo decent skills so far. Wow, that's one point away from being one of those, um, I don't really have a term for it, but it would just be like a sleeper skill set. If that was on a legend, that would be a pretty good skill set. Not fantastic, but it would definitely be pretty good. Um, wow. And the sad thing is that might end up actually being probably the best skill set that I'll get, even with the 100 skill change tickets. But I think I'm going to keep going. And probably spend the last 90 or so and get nothing. I have not seen Dominant or Mess yet, which is kind of concerning at this point. We're 28 deep. Still not Mess or Dom. But there's Dom. Wow. Well, that's definitely a keeper, but Jesus Christ. 
man, that would just be so good on a legend. I mean, I'm not going to roll past that, but just imagine rolling those three on a legend. That would just be absolutely bonkers. Well, since that's pretty much exactly what I aimed to get, I think I'm going to have to keep that. And since I, uh, well, let me think here. Got just about 80 skill change tickets. You know what, I think I'll try skill changing my Prime Brawn. I mean, he's, he's definitely not bad, but he's basically worked his way into being the worst team batter in my actual lineup. I mean, he's probably a little bit better than Mike Trout, but I have, I'm obviously not going to spend too many resources on a non-team player. Man, I've had this skill set for so long, it's going to be... Well, hopefully, it ends up being forgotten about with a really good skill set here. Alright, got Slugger. Obviously going to be aiming for Charisma, Slugger, Spotlight. He'd actually do really good with Barrel It Up, as far as I'm aware. Since they redid that skill. Oh, Spotlight, come on. Would be nice to try a Spotlight Slugger on a starting player for the first time ever. Let's get something decent here. Got 60 left. Batting machine. Hmm. Wow. I am definitely going to try that. I don't know how good it's going to be. I've literally never used Barrel It Up on any batter before. But I'm thinking that's going to be pretty good. Don't know how good, but that's definitely a keeper at this point. Definitely going to try it out. Alright, let's see if there's anybody else that I feel like skill changing at this point, since I got a 50 plus. Pujols obviously doesn't need any skills. He's got fantastic endgame skills. I don't know, I guess I can try Suter because the skills that I rolled on him the other day are... I mean, that's that's pretty mediocre for a setup pitcher since Winstreak is going to be not active very often because they love throwing those setup men in there and tie games, which kind of sucks. Because really the only position that win streak is good in is closing pitcher. Alright, let's try to roll something on the Raptor. Man, that would be so awesome because I have every single pitching... No, that's, that's close to trying, but not really that good. I have basically every single pitcher slot except for one of my setup men basically finished at this point. Mm, that's close, but no. Nope. 
Hopefully my luck can continue for a little bit. Well, before Mentor, that would have been pretty nice to max out Setup Man and Iron Will, but unfortunately Setup Man is just basically almost useless at this point. Because pretty much every endgame player nerfs it with their level 18 Mentor. Hmm, well that might be uh, the type of skill set that I can definitely try. Wouldn't really have too high of expectations with that, especially since Pitching Machine doesn't really seem to work too well in Relief Pitchers, but assuming Ace isn't as horrible as it used to be since it got uh, redone here. On paper, that's a pretty good skill set, even for a reliever. Do I want to keep going or try that? Yeah, I'll probably just try that instead of pressing my luck any further. See if there's anything else I can do. Alright, yep, that's pretty much it. I think I'll pretty much wrap it up there. Gonna take another look at that awesome pool holes. I mean, my my first base is set at this point, but man, that is such a fantastic card. It's the kind of card that would basically fit into anybody's team set as their twenty fifth non team player, especially with those skills. Man, that's ridiculous. All right, thanks for watching.